It is the fastest smart ever. It gets from 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds. It has the Brabus one second wow factor. You can feel that when you're sitting inside and you're kicking off in Brabus mode. <laughs> this is insane. Hi Björn. Konstantin. What's hey. up? Finally. After seeing the hashtag one launch edition, we now have here the sport version. The hashtag one Brabus. Are you ready for a small challenge? Born ready. I will ask you some questions. You have exactly 3.9 seconds to answer. <laughs> okay. What was your first impression seeing that car? It immediately tells you it's a smart, and it's progressive, it's sporty, it's luxurious, and it's urban. How can I answer questions 3.9 seconds? Can you give us some details how we get to that Crazy numbers. It's a B-segment SUV mm -hmm. with over 400 horsepower, or speaking in electric car terms, 315 kilowatts. We do that with a 66 kilowatt NCM battery that can be fast charged from 10 to 80 percent in 30 minutes. We're putting out a car that is going to benchmark in the segment. What is the most intelligent tech innovation of the Smart? I think the overall package, uh, the way the drivetrain is integrated, and of course, Brabus mode. Wow, good. Let's have a closer look to the top line of our hashtag one. It features both the smart DNA, very clearly, mm. and the Brabus DNA. Yeah. There's so many things inside and outside of the car that remind you of smart immediately. This was always our purpose, that we are growing up but not losing our roots, so that it's recognizable as a smart. There's all kinds of really nice design elements on the car that are immediately Brabus and that make it outstanding. The beautiful air curtain in the front, you've got the red roof, that super nice radiant red and that atomic gray is very limited only for that Bravos version. I think it makes the car more exclusive and super sporty. Konstantin, in your personal opinion, what defines comfort? It is something I call confident performance. So the car needs to perform, it needs to give me an idea, you know. <laughs> ah, I'll tell you anyway, it's, like, it's what I call confident performance. You want it to be comfortable, you want it to be sporty and have enough power at the same time, and all the creature comforts. For me, for example, a good stereo system. I'm not really somebody who wants to compromise on an interior just because a car is sporty. Mm. Therefore, the typical Brabus car isn't a race car, but it's a premium, a luxury car that still has a lot of power, just like this one. We've got a sports steering wheel, black and gray tones in the leather interior. We have the Brabus typical red stitching. You know what I like most? The red seat belts. That is such signature. I love it. This car is a result of a 20 years old partnership. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about the history from your perspective and also maybe an outlook towards the future? Brabus and Smart have a long history together. And the question has been, how can we infuse exclusivity, progressiveness, individuality into the product? And this is a continuation of that history and it's a very, very cool new starting point for a new electric mobility-based journey that we're embarking on. What fascinates you the most with that Smart Hashtag One Brabus? It is how it takes the DNA of Smart and Brabus and kind of puts, takes it to the next generation. That's on point. What do you think? Is the explicit target group for the Brabus version, as the Hashtag One is in general very designy? It is definitely a car for the progressive, exclusivity-minded urbanite. It is powerful, mm. it is exclusive, and it is stylish. And all those three elements combined make the perfect Smart package. But what about you? I mean, I have to deal with these three for nine seconds all the time. <laughs> In what three words do you describe the hashtag one? Well, um, I would say it's it's almost a new icon. It's super sportive. And it's <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 